watching this show. Welcome to the Dragon Breath Theater and Cabaret Restaurant in beautiful mascot. I remember new faces were on late afternoon on a Saturday and there was hung. And seriously, it's like my dreams had been answered in one. I couldn't believe it. Bert Newton delivered me the Vietnamese Paul Hogan. There he was. It was this kind of laconic, laid back kind of larrikin quality that you find in a lot of Australian stand-ups with the, the, the main exception being his Vietnamese. He had all the inherent qualities that were perfect for this show. Well, Gogorama has been like a huge break for me because um, like it lets me use all the skills that I've got, you know, like, and, um, and hone all the skills that I've got, like dancing and, um, and, and a bit of acting. I've never acted, you know, it's just, like, giving me a chance to act. It's giving me a chance to um, you know, do my stand-up and stuff in front of, you know, you know a thousand people every night. And you know, getting that, the, the time on stage and getting, you know, I'm, I'm playing the violin and I'm, I'm playing all these different characters and all this sort of thing. So, you know, it's like everything I've you know, wanted to do, Wagarama has let me do it. And I'm so... I'm, I'm shocked, I'm surprised how why well Nick has written such a big part for an Asian guy. Chinese? <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Chinese? I want to be a good Aussie. I work hard, I keep my job. Good Aussie? <laughs> good Aussie. Hey. You listen to me because I have a very long time, all right? You work hard like this, eh? I must work hard like this too. This no good for me. Hmm? No good for my back, eh? You understand Chinese? Yeah, good. Good, the good man is talking about no good. Hey, 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 You know, understand, all right? To be good Aussie, you must be good bladja. <laughs> ah, good bladja. Good bladja. This country no work too hard. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Uh, it's not, probably not the most subtle piece of writing, but um, the parallel is an important one in that. Um, uh, the same sort of thing my parents experienced in the 50s and 60s, um, a lot of Asian immigrants are experiencing now. And there's a great line in The Clean Lays, really lovely, where she says, uh, you don't worry, after 20, Australians really, you know, begin to accept you after 20 years. And she said, but we've already been here 20 years. And I say, eh, for you maybe 40 years, you know. That whole thing of like, well, will we accept the Asians as well as we've accepted the Southern Europeans? And it's still a big question that I don't think anyone's answered yet and won't be answered for a long time. People are very different to die, you understand? That's why many people lose job, because money to die is more important than people. You understand? Yeah. Money more important than 20 years. Anyway, that's me. No worries. Just my life, no worries. You'll be happy here, all right? I hate this job. All right, Chinese? Yeah, really, I hide. Oh, yeah. You'll be happy, no worries. All right? Petula? Mm. Greek? Vietnamese? Sign. 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 